The month of February 2020 is coming to an end, meaning we get to reflect on 10 of our favorite iOS apps to hit the App Store during the month. Without further ado, let's get started. Drive Password is a must-have app if you're a Google Drive user that frequently forgets your passwords. Drive Password lets you store your passwords in Google Drive safely and securely thanks to AES 256-bit encryption. The moment you log in to Drive Password, a dedicated folder in your Google Drive is created. All your passwords and secrets will be encrypted and stored in this folder. You can move and rename the folder within your Google Drive, but you can't delete it or else all of your passwords will be lost and they cannot be restored. Each file inside the dedicated folder is one of your passwords or secrets. They are encrypted and the app doesn't keep any copies of those files. What's cool is you can grant others to view or access and manage the folder if you have coworkers, family members, or just, you know, individuals you trust and want access to your passwords. The app also lets you create a password to make things even more secure. You can create a custom password, a pattern lock, or my favorite and most secure option of two-factor authentication. Tabs is a super easy expense manager designed to help you split bills or expenses with your friends. All you have to do is enter a friend's name, the amount they owe you, the reason, and that's it. No extra information is required. Essentially, this app serves as a dedicated and organized way to keep track of who owes you money. And uh, it doesn't require as much of your personal information as other sites like Venmo or PayPal. Summer Catchers is an absolutely beautiful adventure game focused around driving your trusty wooden car to distant lands full of mystery, strange creatures, and exciting races in your quest to finally experience summer. Don't expect it to be easy though, as you'll run into shadowy forests, dark swamps, vast valleys, and underground cities. The biggest downside is that this game costs $4, but I think it could be worth it if you're into mobile indie games with beautiful visuals and designs. Repod is a podcast discovery app. There's a bunch of apps out there that deliver podcasts to you, but what I like about this app is it helps you discover new podcasts that you wouldn't otherwise find by just scrolling through your favorite podcasts app. You can import your podcast subscriptions from other podcast apps and you can share your podcasts with others on this app. So there's definitely a social aspect here. What's also cool is you can share your favorite podcast moments, such as a clip from your favorite podcast segment or you can curate your own playlist. It's just fun searching the app for keywords to find random podcasts worth listening to. Peak of you is the quote, safest way to show photos and videos to others from your phone, end quote. The app is designed to prevent kids, family members, or strangers, or even clients, I suppose, from viewing photos that you don't want them to see. It uses the guided access accessibility feature on your iPhone to limit your device to a single app. So by default, Peak of View will show you your most recent photos in your photo gallery, but it can be configured to only show a specific album. Furthermore, access to the app's settings is automatically restricted when you have guided access enabled. If this is something you could benefit from, check out Peak of View. Filmbox is a super neat app that converts old camera film negatives into colorful digital images. Now, I don't have any negatives to test this app with, but I've used other apps from this developer and they all work great. And uh, this app, it, it just feels equally as well developed. So I highly recommend you give it a try. If you have some old film negatives lying around, you can transform them to make them digital and colorful. I Love Hue 2 is a psychedelic journey into color, light, and shape. Basically, it's a collection of geometric tiling patterns that create mind-bending challenges that test your color perception and your logic. There are over 900 levels to solve, multiple play modes, and a pretty dope synth soundtrack. Crisp is an AI-powered dialer app designed for those who frequently take business calls. The AI mutes the background noise in real time, leaving only a clean human voice, ultimately making the conference call clearer and easier to listen to. You gotta give this app a try if you're a frequent business conference user. ReCheck is a pretty killer note-taking app that centers around checklists. What's cool is you can create a checklist template for whatever you like, but the app also has a bunch of built-in templates such as a daily house cleaning checklist, job interview prep checklist, and a resume summary checklist. There's a ton of additional features like the ability to set reminders, you can drag and drop tasks, you can share lists with your friends and families, and uh, much, much more. 
Quadricade is a fun, quirky arcade game built around the premise that arcade games are just too easy. What it does to make them more challenging is it forces you to play four arcade games all at once. With a collection of more than 30 game cartridges to collect and more to come, you'll have to keep an eye on which games are being switched in and out to truly master the game. You have to watch out for power-ups, which can help slow the game or increase your score. Use your switch power to switch out any games which you are losing in, giving you a reset and a new game to continue on to your high score. If you like what you see and you're up for a challenge, check out Quadricade. With that last one, those are 10 of our favorite iOS apps to hit the App Store during the month of February 2020. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you're brand new and let us know which app is your favorite in a comment down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.